All right. Hey, look who's in the octagon, folks. It's Craig Shoemaker himself, Ventura Harbor Comedy Club, this weekend. Hey, Craig. Wow. Now, I, I, I'm, you, I'm you wondering, do... <laughs> you are leaning into a microphone. Does it? Does the microphone not go back to you? Oh, let me... Uh, yeah, I have a little... <laughs> gastrointestinal thing. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so suddenly we're talking and you're doing this li- this Leaning. lean thing. Right. I, I thought it was <laughs> Yeah. I do have a like neck two injury. cans and a string yeah. here. I got to see the chiropractor later, man. No. Craig Hey, Craig Shoemaker's here, folks, <laughs> despite my leaning. Oh man. Well, hi Craig. I'm I'm real happy to be up here. You know, I live in your hood now. You're in the hood, are you? Well, somewhat. I'm yeah. I'm on the border of 805, but uh, you know, I consider myself a native here. And uh, Craig, welcoming a new uh, new addition to the shoemaker. Family. Yeah, we have really? a week old baby who's wow. born at home, 21 hours of labor. At home. At home with no drugs. And I mean for either one of us. I mean, trust me, I, I was ready for a bong hit or something. It was unbelievable that my wife went through this. At home. And we're up for like 43 hours. He was born in a, in a pool. <laughs> Which, really? which, of course, my other two kids are like, oh, wow, we have a new kiddie pool. I'm like, whoa, get out of that thing. <laughs> you have no idea what went on in there yesterday. Uh, it's not so, what that's for, man. Uh, and we did with a midwife. And, and, you know, and by the way, I'm from Philadelphia, and I'm not, this is not the way I would normally go, but I married like a hippie girl. You know, like eco friendly, which is great for my cheapness. Everything now I can go, hey, I'm just being eco. Right. <laughs> it's it's great. I pee in the shower just for the environment. Yeah, it's green. I'm man. green. <laughs> it's great. But I'm you know, I'm much more Philadelphia. So this was I, I just kept thinking of my family and everybody back east, you know, thinking of here I am in a pool, right. you know, giving birth. My mother even said, She goes, What are you giving birth to? A guppy? She goes, Don't even talk to me about it. I'm a traditionalist, so we have a little guppy now. But there was a problem. He was, like, stuck, and the the midwife, I could see her face, like, get out of the pool. And I was out of that pool faster than when I was 12 when there was a rumor there was a turd in the country club (laughs) pool. I launched out of this thing like, you know, like a dolphin with a crushed iced enema. (laughs) We came flying out of this thing, and uh, he was stuck, so I pulled him out. And and now we have a healthy boy, 8 pounds, 8 ounces. Wow. Man, it was incredible. I'll tell you, but my wife, what a trooper. I have no idea how women do this. I mean, I know how some do it. They keep, you know, pressing that little, uh, the little lever to <laughs> give me more drugs. Right. The epidural. <laughs> keep it coming. Yeah, exactly. Craig tells some great stories of uh, being on the road, being up on stage too, and also uh, hanging out with some big rockers. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. But as a matter of fact, the two of them are involved in my movie, Totally Baked. Now, Totally Baked, by the way, um, is a marijuana movie. Yeah. But it's in um, it's in Walmart, which I think they must have thought it was a cooking film with Bobby <laughs> Flay or something. But trust me, there's no lemon meringue in this movie. It's all it was inspired because my son asked me. If, I was singing that song. I'm a Joker, smoker, midnight toker, and he goes, "What's a toker?" So what do you tell you know a seven year old? You know, <laughs> I said someone that smokes pot. So he goes to the kitchen. He pulls out a pot and he goes, "How do you smoke that, Dad?" <laughs> I said, "Trust me, Dad. He tried back in the '80s." But anyway, he uh, he inspired this movie. So it's a real crazy movie about marijuana, but it got picked up by everyone. It's with Universal and number ten of all time on Hulu.com, and I'm really excited about it. So I sent it to Brian, my old friend, ACDC lead singer, and uh, he loved it so much that he now is one of the producers. He wrote three original tunes. So you'll hear three original ACDC tunes. You won't hear anyone else in this uh, Totally Baked. Uh, you go to totallybakedmovie.com and uh, kind of look at the uh, the trailer and stuff. It's really, really funny, and and he got involved. And then John Oates from Hall & Oates, he wrote me a letter. And he goes, hey, it's John Oates, Hall & Oates. And I wrote back, yeah, right. <laughs> like I didn't really think he was going to find me on the Internet. But he wrote, and he says, no, we're big fans of yours and stuff like that. So he, he did a concert, and I met him backstage. I said, you want to be in my movie? He says, sure. And he showed up on the set, and I just wrote him apart. He goes, how about give me one of those mustaches I used to have in the 80s? So we we didn't we couldn't afford a mustache, so we went and chopped the director's hair, <laughs> and we slapped it on his lip so he could be Oates. And then Hall was sick, so I played Hall. Oh, yeah. And this paranoid guy who's <laughs> high. He goes, I think I see Hall and Oates, and it's Oates and me on my knees, you know, <laughs> with this girl's hair dangling over my head. Couldn't afford a wig. <laughs> and it's me and him doing Man Eater in the guy's face. Oh, it's nice. just a wacky marijuana movie, but it has some political uh, undertones as well. So it's, uh, I, I'm real happy about it. All right. But Brian, Brian has been an old friend for years, sang at my wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> you put your right foot in and the left foot out. <laughs> it was awesome. And Hell's bells. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, 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 was, he was rocking it out at that wedding. It was it was great. Wow. So, now that I'm divorced from that wife. Though. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot to tell you all my shows this weekend in Ventura. I'm at the Ventura Comedy Club. Are, they're all benefit shows, and all proceeds go to my ex-wife. <laughs> I just thought I'd put that out there. I'm a philanthropist. I don't just do this comedy yeah. for nothing here. Yeah, right. <laughs> my wife got half my jokes in the divorce. She my did. Ex-wife. Yeah. That was, that was good. She's, she's playing the Nokia Center as the love mistress. <laughs> <laughs> you got off easy, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ventura Harbor Comedy Club, Craig Shoemaker, the love master. You you're not going to do the love master voice ever. Oh, yeah, but. baby. <laughs> I do feel a little creepy doing it now with just you and me in the room. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. Uh. <laughs> Ladies out there, baby, I love you so good. Your neighbor will have a smoke, baby. Oh, yeah. I got more wood than Home Depot. That's right, baby. Friday. The love master. Yeah, the now love I'm the master. diaper master again. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's are. a big poopy right there, yeah, baby. That's a, that's a Lincoln log. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, God, the diaper master. Yeah, the diaper master himself. Friday, 8 p.m., Saturday, two shows, 7 and 9. Boy, they got you working twice on Saturday there, the love master. Uh, Craig Shoemaker. Uh, CraigShoemaker.com. What about Friday? Uh, okay. you know, fr- yeah, Friday at 8. Both shows. Right. Uh, but I I don't have two shows on Friday? I thought it was just one show on Friday. That was Friday. At- oh, no, you're, you don't no, when Shoemaker comes to town, brother, uh, okay. we pack it out. Yeah, no, you know what? I I'm almost like positive, anyways, but... I could I could be wrong, yeah, but yeah, we we sell out up here in Ventura. I love it. That's why I record so I can edit out the mistakes that I make. So uh, it's a and it's a wonderful fish smell that I'm playing. <laughs> and, yeah, you're right between the fish smell and the mushroom farm right down the street. So. Yeah, it, it, it's quite an it, it's quite a nose assassination going on here. Get, you just get all the smells. Welcome to town, uh, Craig. <laughs> I do love the audiences here, though. They're really phenomenal. And I play the Canyon Club down the road as well. So uh, we just put 1,000 people in there. So I, I think that people better get their tickets soon. Yeah, I think so. And we'll give some away. But, uh, yeah, you really ought to really buy them because Craig does know where each one of our listeners lives. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do uh, one-on-one comedy. I got, excuse me. Rabbi, priest, and a minister walk into a bar. And <laughs> we work on the joke together. But laughter is so good for you. Don't you think we need to laugh more in this I, country? You know, I th- I think you're right about that. And uh, hey, so am I right? Were you uh, were you um, uh, all all girls in your family? You yeah, girls? I had all females growing up. My dad left when I was born, and uh, <laughs> which I have no idea. Like my kid was just born like a week ago. I can't imagine yeah. going. You know what? You're on your own. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> so I'll see you later. <laughs> and I'm not going to pay a child support for another seven years. I, I have no idea how he did that. Well, he did go off, and my dad runs a cult now. He has his own cult, and he runs <laughs> mule rides to feed the cult. And I'm not even making that up. People wonder why I became a comedian. But, and I, but I still have abandonment issues, and I was a delinquent growing up. 13, I got arrested. I'll, I'll never forget the cop says to me, how would you like to end up like one of these guys on a poster? I'm going, at least he's wanted. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, that, that's how I grew up, but I, I can't imagine uh, my, my kids going through it. I may have t- two other children with, with my, uh, in my divorce, but, I mean, I'm there for them all the time with coaching Little League, and, boy, the, has Little League changed these days. Yeah, is that pretty brutal? Oh, I'm going out of my mind with these crazy moms, yeah. and, the, and they just, they're, all, they're helicopter moms. They're all over these kids. There's no outs and no runs for the first two years. Years. That's how they supposed to learn. Like the, the moms are, there are no winners and are no losers. Like, oh, of course there's losers. How do you think I became a comedian? From winning? You think I was scoring babes? <laughs> this, this is how I became a comic. Of course there's losers, and there's a good thing about losing. And then they're, and, they're, and they have these manicured fields. It's ridiculous. I played on broken glass. Yeah. The only grass on our entire field was in a coach's bong. <laughs> That's a true thing. Like, <laughs> Run it out. <laughs> That's how we rolled. Uh, but uh, they, I, I go crazy. A woman last year, she's feeding her kid a pizza in our dugout. I, I really, and I go, "What are you doing?" She goes, "He's hypoglycemic." I go, "You're in denial. He's fat." <laughs> <laughs> Tell Engelbert to put down the ho ho and start running. That's what you do. You run. <laughs> you can't make them do laps. It's abusive. I'm out of my mind coaching. I coach up here in Westlake. I think this is my last year. <laughs> <laughs> How he finds time to do stand-up, folks, we'll never know. Between the Little League, the new baby, 
and uh, the laughterstore.com. Yeah, laughter we've got the, yeah, we've got the uh, yeah, the laughter store. You get all your good funny gifts there. Your your gag gifts. The fart machine too is a big seller. As if the first one wasn't good enough. Fourteen new sounds in the fart machine too. <laughs> I, how'd you like to be there for that corporate meeting? Yeah, Somebody man. bring me a poot. That's a that's a <laughs> symphony. There. Okay. Exactly. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Six four four fifteen hundred Ventura Harbor Comedy Club dot com. Craig Shoemaker dot com. The Love Master. Oh I yeah. My hotline ringing with a newscast coming in right now, and I can't record you and them at the same time. So I'm. I guess I got. I got. Guess I got to say, Craig, thanks for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. It was a blast. I'll see you this weekend. Come out and have some laughs. And by the way, I talked to your wife, and she said, you better negotiate some time and bring her to the comedy club. And by the way, it's very good for her. I'll get her all rolling. A love master. I set her up. You knock her down, baby. Oh, yeah. I've helped many couples before. Hello, Oxford.